is this just fantasy? Depends on what you mean by fantasy. This is a weird one, folks, but yet one that I really enjoy. So this is Fung Guy, which is by J.M. Renewit. And it is essentially a a take on a, a samurai style story or samurai style like kind of feudal Japan world except all the characters are mushroom people. That's right. It, it, yeah, this is it, that's basically it. Is that this is a, it's like a yeah, uh, essentially kind of like uh what's what's the blue eye samurai you know, that kind of world, except it's about mushroom people. And I mean, I feel like the, the creator probably drew this guy right here and was like, that's a comic right there I would read, which is this, this samurai, and, you know, looks like a hat or whatever, but it's, it's he's a fungus man. It's a weird one. It's by Scout Comics, who, you know, you know I don't read much that they put out uh but this one i had to pick up because it just kind of intrigued me and i love that it only has one name above the tin there so this is a single creator making this so props to them for finding this guy and and putting it out there and i love this little this little setup and this little first page here this like i love this all this greenery but basically yeah it's a world full of Giant insects and sentient bipedal mushrooms. The fun guy. And yes, it's swordplay and martial arts. And some magic too. And I am all about it. And so the first two issues are out so far. There may be a third one at this point. But I need to go pick it up. But so far I've really enjoyed it. And I wanted to make people more aware of it. If they weren't already and of course, like every great fantasy story, it's got a map. Have a map. Creators of fantasy, get a map. And instantly makes more people interested in your world. I guarantee it. And I feel, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all what it's all about. And so it gets our orientation for the world. And then we are introduced to many of our main characters in, in rapid succession here. We have... Our, our our lead female, our lead kind of silent badass. Well, he's not silent, but like our badass warrior type with the, the, the cuts across his head there. And I guess they're scars, technically. And then we get a look at our, our little fantasy world with all these mushroom people around and, and houses and giant bugs and such. And I gotta say, I really like the, the art, I think. It's just, it's such an interesting style and it's an interesting world that he's crafting. And especially, yeah, it's, it's a lot of hard work to make a comic. And I think that they've done a great job. We have another character here is this like little guy. I, he's basically Mushroom Yoda. And he's also, I guess, the, the you could say the magic user. And he, he rides this little bug to get himself around. Uh, but, and they're, they're companions. And he always speaks in these kind of mystical... Not mystical, but proverb-sounding statements. And, yeah, it, it's, it sets up your characters really quick, really nice. If I have one suggestion to uh, J.M. Ringuit, it would be to make your text, your lettering, bigger. Because, I like, this is really small for for most people like i can read it but some people are it might might be difficult and i and as an artist i am very much aware of the the pain it may say you i may say of drawing an image like let's say drawing this this really great image of this little town here and this little procession and everything and all, drawing all this detail and then having to throw a large text bubble covering up some of the amazing stuff you did. I don't like doing it, but sometimes it's just you gotta. And that was also an early stumbling block for me as a comic artist was when I was trying to figure out how what's the font size for a standard page. 
And let me tell you, that information is just really not out there. There's people suggesting stuff, but ultimately it's a trial and error type thing. And so I, I've settled on a size that works for my comics and also to me seems big enough to read, but this just, it's a little small. It's not unreadable. It's not ruining the book or anything like that, but it's just lettering is one of those things that, you know, you, you think is just throwing words in, but it, it's it's more than that, and he's he's doing more than just that, but it's also just, just text a little bigger. Anyway, you're not reading, you're not listening to this video, but this is for all the cre potential creators out there, and also for the artists. Just plan for the text to be there, like right here, where, with this panel with this guy's head. Just scooch. Just scooch him over, and then there's more room mo next to his head here. For the text bubble to be bigger and the text to be bigger. That's all. You know, there's plenty of room. There's plenty of negative space here. But enough about the text. Basically, he, the, the, this warrior and uh, his, his mystical friend are on a journey. And they don't want to be interrupted. But the, this lady and this big guy who only has one arm... He, they're captured by these bad guys, and they ask for help, but he wouldn't help them initially. And but, but luckily for them, he shows up in a great hero moment, and he he chops them chops them up, chops them through, and she she handles her own because she's like a general, I believe, and he's just you know he's this big, he's also this kind of big traveling warrior, and I love the. This, that can set a blood. It's like spores spraying out of them, and yeah, just it's it. The art is is a lot of fun, and it, also it's fun that it that it's yeah, fungus guys, and there's some really cool moments with that. And I don't even know if I want how extensively I should really go over this first issue because you heard the premise. It's like a a, a feudal Japan, except it's mushroom people. And, and then there's this little kind of wizard guy who his magic is essentially through the, my, I think it's mycelium, the, the mushroom growth or spore or whatever that interconnects throughout forests and allows forests to communicate with each other. That's essentially how he conducts his magic is he can like speak to the mycelium. And I think that is a brilliant way to make uh, mushroom magic. I think that's great. And I think that really works. And the, the action's fun. And the character designs, I think, are really great. And, I yeah. It, but, yeah, it, that's, that's really all it is. And, like, the idea is that she has been... She was the, the general in response in charge of a particular village you know, it's not a village but like a nation i guess and she has essentially been dishonored or sabotaged and she's trying to get back to her home so that she can save the ruler because there's like a coup in in coming in and so i think that's a cool setup, and basically uh, these two guys are in to help her, even though he's claiming that he's just going to leave at a certain point after he leads them so far. And yeah, just get nice little vistas, and we're, we're seeing more of the world. Here he is connecting to, I think he calls it the primordium. He, he's connecting to the, 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 the magic... And yeah, I guess this guy must have studied mushrooms and also like he studied like kind of Japanese block prints because there's that kind of vibe to a lot of the illustrations and like pose posing. This guy, he looks like he has like an Oni's body because it's just like his crazy like tattoos or whatever. And I love that when they're the tops of their head meet, they kind of buckle, you know, they, like they're they're talking really close. It's really it's clever stuff. Yeah. So I would, you know, essentially, 
I recommend this. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. I think the art is 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 really great, and I I yeah I I like the vibe of it, and it's just interesting yeah seeing this kind of story told, but it's with mushroom people, and you know what I love it almost purely because this is a the work of a single creator and the work of somebody who he did it because he want this is the story he wanted to tell this is the 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 world he wanted to create and for that i think you should give fungi a look